Children's Nurturing Project is the agency in Solano County that will be coordinating the collaborative of lots of different partners, including uh, Got Choices, including the Solano County District Attorney's Office and the Police Departments, to really look at a community approach to how can we help girls um, before they get into the system and also in juvenile hall to continue and support the services that are in place there and to really reach out and do more. Working with the girls in juvenile hall and in my program Got Choices, I get to meet these girls every day, every week, and they're all my girls. They're all my Got Choices girls. And to see them grow and, and to take what skills they have um, from going to program and getting out on the streets again and using those skills, it brings it all back to why I do what I do. Well, I got introduced into the game by a group of wrong, the wrong people I was hanging around, of course. And I was about 14 years old when I got kidnapped in Oakland, California. And it was a very bad experience. Strangers, like strange guys, rolled up on me and jumped out of a car and just snatched me off the street and then took me in. They had me for about two to three days. I tried to get away, didn't work. And then now that I'm grown, I just look back at it. Trafficking. Human trafficking is not an issue just in Fairfield. It's an issue in our society. And people that have taken advantage of and preyed upon young people uh, to put them in a life of victimization is a critical, critical issue. There truly are victims. I was about 16 years old. Um, I was really depressed. I had a, I was in a relationship that I depended on the person to be there for me and to to fill my void because I don't really. Me and my dad, we don't get along. I was I was on the run from going to juvenile hall. I was facing a while for some burglary charges I have then, I, and I was facing you know a year or two. And um, I didn't listen. My mom would let me. My mom let me go on the run, you know, so I didn't have that person to be like, no, don't do it. It's like, okay, go ahead, you know, it's all good. Be a friend more than a mother. We find that many of the girls we encounter were involved or a victim of human trafficking. This is the unfortunate place they wind up for sometimes a short period or sometimes many months, depending on the programs we put them in. Right now we have a substance abuse program that some of the girls that are involved in trafficking go into and that program can be up to four months. Sometimes we do short stays here. Uh, our average stay is 17 days, so some may stay longer, some may stay shorter. This gives them a chance of stability while they're in the facility. It gives them a chance to feel safe, but unfortunately they leave here and they go back I was gonna say home, but many don't have homes to go back into. They stay with relatives, foster care. And unfortunately, sometimes we place them in group homes and they run as soon as they get there. They run back to the individual or individuals they feel safe with, and sometimes that's the individual that is putting them on the street. That's what I think partially sometimes that it is my fault because of the way my body look at my age, but at the end of the day, you didn't tell me, a couple people didn't tell me that. It's not my fault. But I still think to this day it is. But if I could help any girls out there, I could by telling them my story, that being in the streets, not listening to your parents, listening to these guys that you think love you and all they really want is money at the end of the day, and they want, to, they want something for themselves and they don't care about you, I wish I could help, like, you know, telling them you need to just stay at home, go to school, you need to listen to your parents, just listen. Having kids and trying to run away, I ran away a total of 10 times. And every time, each time I have run away in my life, I have went to juvenile hall. So it's like, that, 
that made me be in and out of the system repeatedly. I start stealing, I start smoking, drinking, stuff I shouldn't have been doing. But if it's one girl I could help out there with my message, it'll make me happy and a better person because if I know that I could overcome the things I've been through, then I know that I could help somebody else too that's just like me. understand that the issue of human trafficking is really about power, it's about control, it's about taking advantage of people that for whatever reason uh, makes them susceptible. The idea that you think that you're out there and you're going to deal with someone that you see as a suspect, when in fact they've been pulled into it through a victimization process. They look like a suspect, they're acting like a suspect, but the reality is, is they're a tool, they are a, you know, a pawn in this whole process. The issue of trafficking is uh, oftentimes it's, it's, a, uh, uh, it's not easily identifiable uh, by law enforcement. Uh, so that's the challenge that we have in law enforcement is to improve our skills in identifying those uh, women, mostly women, who are trafficked website to advertise yourself it's not it's not okay I mean you could really sit up there and you could think that you're going to go meet somebody off one of these websites and they can kidnap you and kill you your parents will never know they they'll come up on a girl that they've been praying on it's men out here every day that pray on young ladies like us it doesn't matter what your age is from the age of you can be six years old you can be seven eight you can be, it doesn't matter what age. These websites aren't okay. There's the customers and there's the traffickers that are, that are really doing illegal things that, that needs to stop. And these kids are victims. But more than that, they're survivors. And we know um, that they are the major part of the solution to this pro problem in Solano County.